from slide node i'm waves over here what's up guys what are you guys doing now so in this vid i'm going to talk about java patterns this is a second type of pattern you see this diagram over here with all the asterisks and stars whatever you call it this is what we are going to make in this program it's not as complicated as it looks if you're a beginner you're probably worried or wondering how this is done let's go ahead and check it out the output looks something like this you say enter the size and it prints a star just like the way you saw all right so now let me go ahead and show you how this is done here's the thing you have to take everything one step at a time all right so let's say you say print star it's going to print one star now if you want to print this four times you'll have a for loop that will say for j is one j less than four j plus plus it's going to print four times right now if you want four such rows you need another for loop right which will say for i is one i less than four i plus plus and that will be done so now at this point you need to figure out how to get exactly these things right now if you observe something there is one interesting observation over here in the first row take a look i is one j is one you're printing the first star but you're not printing these three stars can you guess why take a look j is two then j is three j is four j is greater than i so you're not printing them right now let's go to the second row and again see it i is two over here j is one fine j is two fine but when j becomes three you don't print j becomes four you don't print in short when j becomes bigger than i you don't print so let's go ahead and see if j is less than equals to i you print the star otherwise do nothing and of course after the for loop is over add a new line so that this thing goes to the next line over here so let's go ahead and net beans and see how this runs it's a pretty simple program all right so in net beans i have nothing much it's a pretty empty project there is a buffered reader over here i have made an object of buffered reader to take input from the user you guys are probably very familiar with this if you haven't then you can see my vids earlier in my playlist which talk about buffered reader next i say system dot dot print ln i'll ask the user to enter the size how big he wants that pattern to be and i'll store that inside this variable called size which is of type integer because we don't need any decimals over here so now let me go ahead and show you exactly how that's done so first we print one star let me go ahead and show this step by step system dot out dot print i'll print one star over here i'll say control s shift f6 enter the size i'll say four it's gonna print one star as you guys can see there's only one star over here now we need this four times so i'll say i'll put a for loop over here four int j equals to zero you can take any name i'll say j equals to one you can start anywhere j less than equals size j plus plus all right so okay so now let's go ahead and check how this works i'll say control s shift f6 if i enter the size is four as you guys can see there are four stars and one line now i need four such rows i'm gonna put another for loop outside i'll say four and i equals to zero or one anything i less than equals size i plus plus have this for loop copy pasted inside all right so now i go say control s shift f6 to run again enter the size i'll say four as you guys can see it's printing all the 16 stars on the same line so i need a new line over here i'll say system dot out dot print ln a blank print ln statement yep to make a new line i'll again say control s shift f6 enter the size four so now you can see they're on four separate lines what happens is this for loop runs for four stars right and then it prints four stars one after the other then you say a new line then it goes back inside and increases i right that's how it works so now let's go ahead and put our condition over here we'll say if j is less than equals to i then print the star otherwise do nothing say control s shift f6 enter the size four so now you guys can see it's working perfectly like the way we wanted so i hope you guys understood something out of this it's a pretty simple program there are many other ways to do this if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.